we are zoomed in on the outdrive of our 07 Nordic, and this is the Whipple Supercharger raw water pickup right there that you're looking at, that steel braided line that runs in through the transom. Important to note. All right, we'll move up tr from aft up the port side here. There's your uh, ski pylon, back deck, exhaust ports. As you can see, provided great care. New tires, brakes, brake pads, all last season. Triple axle. Got disc brakes on two of the axles, surge brake controller. The trailer's in excellent condition. As we move forward on our 07 Nordic, big nose on this. In terms of the exterior, there's only one little scratch which you can see right here. That was from a docking on those pads right there on the nose. But everything's in great shape and ready to go. There's part of our snap-in cover on that open bow section, this Nordic. As we move aft, down the starboard side here, you can see the wind brakes that are attached to the top of the windshield. That's because this vessel cruises at 55 miles an hour, and then when it hits this stepped chine right here, it'll pretty quickly climb to 80 miles an hour. It's part of the hull design and part of the joy of having a boat that'll really, really move. And that is the exterior of our 2007 Nordic 28 open bow. All right, here we are, the helm of our 2007 Nordic. 28 open bow. As you can see, great contrast at the helm. Coming back around, safety flag holder. Back around here, got this sloped back deck that covers up the uh, Mercury Raylon we manufactured 496 that's back there. And here's the rear seat underneath the seat this is double hinged it actually then shows you two big amplifiers that power two 10 inch subs in the back one 10 inch sub in the front as well as six by nines throughout the entire cabin over here at the helm moving up and around over here port side as well, both there in the passenger seat, and then here behind this area here, as you can see. Okay. Very good shape all the way across, just very few things that can be identified. Um, as we go up over here, look down at the floor in between the two, here's our boat hook, and then we get down into the open. Cutty here, port side first. What you might notice is that there's a lot of lighting. There's mood lighting, overhead lights, cabin lights, and courtesy lights, all on switches here, up to the front. That area up there is actually an open bow area under that's uh, not entirely covered. It's covered right now by the bow cover. And then there are stow points here. As you can see, there's a lot of gear here. Is the secondary switches from the helm. You uh, bring power down here and then there's uh, music uh, storage as well as the main head unit for it. But um, really quite a nice finish to this with the stow capabilities that it offers throughout. And then as we go up here forward there is one of the other subwoofers right up into the bow and then as you can see little light filtering through here but this is a vinyl cover and this would be 
uh, the open bow portion of the vessel. And uh, as you can see, with the cover on, it acts very much like it's a cutty, but otherwise also offers flexibility to be an open bow uh, rider. Uh, carpet is in pretty good shape. A little bit of uh, markings and wear and tear, but beyond that, nothing to speak of. And here, I've got more storage. It's a fender, some dock lines, as well as uh, some safety vests. Looking aft, you can see the custom vinyl work that is Nordic. And then moving all the way up to the front, past the helm, up over, as you can see, the big bow with that bow cover. It's currently covering uh, the seating that's up there in the very nose of it. We'll zoom in on that. As you can see, snaps on. All right, that is the interior of our 2007 Nordic 28 open bow. Here's the power hatch on our 2007 Nordic 28 open bow. As you can see, there's no need to worry about lifting that hatch on your own. Here we are looking at our $2,200 laser machined stainless steel prop on our 2007 Nordic 28 open bow with the mid cabin. Uh, had to go through seven props per the seller in order to properly find one that would grab because there was so much juice coming off of the motor that it wasn't able to uh, get up on plane without cavitating. As you can see, it's just maintenance, just serviced. Very clean, all ready to go.